Hello everybody. So today we have a great day. My new toy has arrived. Tamastar Classic Walnut Birch uh, in the color of Molten Brown Burst. The, uh, this is a four piece shell set and it's contained in these two boxes. Additionally, I have bought a snare drum, the same color, uh, from the same series Tra Classic. And since I have other drums, I had to buy also a, a drum chair and set of hardware stands, uh, pedal, hi-hat stand. As you see, the boxes just arrived, they are still all closed, so we'll open them on the camera and we will see what what is inside, how they are packed and later on we will set it up in the studio along the, the other drums that, uh, that I have. So that's how how it looks uh, a little bit close up. What I'm very much surprised is by this box of the hardware because what it has inside is the uh, Iron Cobra pedal Iron Cobra hi-hat stands, it's all uh, series 600 and two uh, snare stand and two uh, cymbal stands and it all is contained in this small package I'm really <laughs> puzzled actually I thought it would be much much bigger <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the pricing uh, the drum set which is these two boxes, two four piece shell set. It's uh, 1800 euro plus tax, it depends where you are. I'm actually in the Gran Canaria, so here we have a special tax. It's only 7% for the uh, musical instruments plus some uh, extra charges for a custom procedure. Um, so it's not that, not that much. Actually, it's about 16 euro per declaration, in other words, per box, as it is delivered. Uh, snare, snare is another, what have it written here on the box, it's another 376 euro. The Tron, 303 euro plus tax. And this hardware set, have it here, it's 457 euro plus tax. All together uh, with, uh, with taxes uh, for me here in Gran Canaria, both in Toman in Germany, it's 3200 uh, euro with all, all, all this what we see here on the, on the picture. Let's start with the, with the drum. Now it has stands. First chair. I shall try it. Actually it's not my first chair, it's my third chair. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so now let's check the, the hardware. How it is.
let's see what beauty is here. Star Classic Star Gun Walnut Walnut Birch. Here we have a drum key. Beautiful. Put it aside. Very well packed, that's for sure. see this it's shiny oh beautiful and it's painted it's lacquered it's not a wrap beautiful I don't know if, how it is visible on the camera but life Wait, it's, it's how do I get it to focus it, it's out of focus It's absolutely beautiful. Let me take it out. Evans G1 drum head. On the bottom we have a snare side 300 Evans. And look at this, look at this color of the wood. That's the walnut. That's the, I'm talking about the, the wires actually. It's a beautiful walnut wood visible. Yeah? Yes. 
So let's see. Let's see how this box is inside. Open here. Okay. Open here. Probably 12, 12 inch tall. And there is nothing else here, so it's only the tall. Means that all the rest is in this big box below. It was pretty heavy, about 30 kilograms, and this one just, oh, how beautiful it is. Cast hoops. Yeah. We have Evans G2 drum head clear and on the on the other side we have a powercraft Tama. So probably let's see how it how it works. But I, just in case I have a set of uh, Evans G1 heads to put on the on the other side and replace the original Tama. But let's see how long it will last. The the drum heads that come with the with the drums. Quick mount Tama quick mount. Let's see how this one works later on. Oh, you can take it out, everything together, move it this one. Let's see how later on will it will work. It's all suspension. 12 inches tom, 12 by 9, 12 by 9 tom. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing, another beautiful thing. So, just... Uh, in the future. Except the 12 inches tom in one box of this size. Heavy it is, that's for sure. But how they how they actually packed it would be a surprise. Let's 
see what it is. So we have a oh, it's nicely attached. We have a drum set. side with the with the patch event patch and this is EQ4 EQ4 butter side yeah so we have let's put it back together Here we have uh, drum heads for the 16 inches tom. Uh, tom is 16 by 14. I see it's G2 clear as well. And the, the other one is the, the Tama power craft the bot on the bottom. Right. everything in wow. box with what is inside this box what is inside this box suspension that must be for the 10 inches tom the smaller tom the 12 inches that was in the air separate box it came already with uh, with the suspension mounted 10 inches it separate the otherwise probably it wouldn't fit in this in this box nice nice Next one, what do we have here? Ten inches tall. It's all nicely protected, tight inside. So during the transportation, the things were not able to move. Thank you. 
And we have another beautiful thing coming out. I mean, 10 inches. Same G2. Beautiful wood inside. And I don't know if you could see. Can you can you catch this one? The inside the number twenty two E. Yes, but it also says made in China. Yeah. So the <coughs> star, star classic star classic is produced uh, in China, uh, and as far as I know, the uh, in Japan they only produce the star star series. The highest series, what Tama has, all the rest, uh, cost cutting obviously, uh, has been also to China. But they are Japanese engineers on the on the side, and they supervise the the quality uh, process. All right, we have a top. to take another one. Mm. And this is the the 16 by 14 from Florto. Oh, here uh, here we can here. see the Beautiful walnut wood. So nicely tight. This is a number. Uh, so the the only way to know that it is made in China is because of this little little label inside that it says made in China. So we have the same mounts, quick mounts on the legs. Once we set, set up the height then it will be very easy to dismantle just moving this thing out on the other side and the leg comes out. So it means that for the people that travel with the drum set and they have to dismantle and put it back together on the stage and it's very quick operation take it out and when you put it back they always come back to the same same position no worries very clever very clever solution there is, there is a similar solution for the W but it is with the with the knob, with the thread, and with the, the stoppers. So it's not maybe as fast, but uh, it's very interesting solution. And lots of comments on the YouTube. People are very happy with this with this type of arrangement. And uh, interesting to to have. What else we have here? Yeah. We have the bar drum by itself. Again, we have this beautiful wood. Just checking the screws if they are not loose, but looks that everything is nicely tight. There's nothing loose. There's nothing loose. Protection. Oh, 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 oh. I see something to lose here. I don't know if it's broken or not, but let's see. And let's 
probably that's what it is. Uh, it is. It's broken or no, not? No, no, it's not broken. It's not broken. It's that's the way it is. Probably. Okay. Uh, have to undo the rest. Do you need to see some okay. Where's the cutex? How do you Careful, careful. <laughs> Definitely, definitely it is well protected. So well it's that it's almost difficult to, to take it out. <laughs> Wait a no, 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 take it out. Mm. Record it? Yes, yes, okay. I'm recording everything. And it's properly zoomed. Yes. Unless you want more zoom. lacquered as we see oh, it will be beautiful after mounting it just has such a such a nice look and this is the this is the protection I believe only for transportation because the drum head will sit on the edges later on and so they put this protection so nothing happens to the bearing edge you can appreciate it I don't know if you can catch it from the profile how, how it is the profile done it's this special uh, Tama Tama way of of edge burning. Um, okay, I'll put the protection back for the time being. Germany, from Germany to Gran Canaria, and it's all all okay. Nothing, nothing is damaged. This, that's very clever. This protection on this. Uh, 
And interesting thing, protection. Here we have a tom holder mount, and look inside. This is not going through to the shell, so the shell is not pierced. So the integrity of the shell remains uh, intact. So we have a tom holder mounted on the bus drum, but but the shell itself is not punctured, it's not pierced, so the, the, uh, the sound should travel within the shell and between the drum heads in a more consistent way. Well, that's, that's what they say, at least. I believe that that must be the, the case. This is 22 by 16, 22 by 16. And lugs are nicely protected also for the for the travel as you see. Beautiful thing. Let's see what what else because there is a little remaining inside, probably only the remaining part of the tom holder and the lugs itself. Let me check it out. remaining in this other corner yep so we have a uh, what what is it have it this two package it yeah, looks like pieces. Not, no, that's part of the uh, drum holder, the tom holder. Hmm. And the legs, there are three of them. Let's see. I don't know what is it. At the moment, I don't know. There is something like this. It must fit somewhere. What else we have? We have a set of legs. One set on each side. Oh, that's beautiful thing from Tama. The lugs, they have a plastic protection, so they will not damage the this nicely lacquered hoops. So they talked about nice protection. Another beautiful thing. Bravo, Tama. Uh, I presume these are the spare ones. Uh, drum key, Tama drum key. Ah, and this is the patch that you put on the hoops uh, uh, under the under the pedal, so the hoops will not be damaged when you mount the pedal. Nice, nice. I will put some extra protection anyway, but it's good to have it. Uh, and we have the manual, manual how to mount the uh, suspension for the tom. So all taken care of. And the next step will be to to set it up.
here we have this this quick lock open close position open close so we open we put this thing inside now it's locked we do the same with the three remaining and we put the legs and we have a floor tom and finally we'll set up the bus drum bus drum well here is the reservoir side why we know it because <laughs> because of the leg Have a set of legs. The drum is singing, but the sound that it gives in the middle is a little bit plastic one. But it is also because of the lots of resonance that it gets. So, what are we going to do? We're going to position this patch, this, this pillow Evans. Evans pillow since the drum is uh, 22 by 16 we we use uh, the li little muffin side here is like a bigger area that can be uh, uh, positioned over the butter and this one is smaller so we use the I will use the smaller at first. Here we have a, this this velcro. At first, we position it properly. Take the plastic out, stick it to the interior of the drum, and later on, once it is in position, we can later on change if we want the bigger one or the smaller one or whatever you want to do but we will have it positioned that's why also I started from the butter side not from the rezo side like with the other drums because I wanted to put it first and I want this to to uh, lean on on the butter on the butter drum head so a little bit of science work
at the moment I like I like it. So we have 65 on the on the butter and 90 on the on the resin. And there is last element remaining for mounting. Um, that's the the tom holder that comes on top of the bass drum. And that's it. And that's it. The toms will come here. So the next thing will be to set it up and try it. So that's it, that's the basic setup.